Welcome to another video. I don't know if y'all saw our front door, but ooh, I love our front door and the light that it gives off is amazing. Say hello to Leia. Hi, Leia. You're so cute and perfect. I love you so much. I don't know if you guys have been watching my stories. I have been fostering a dog that I want you guys to meet. Let's go. Lizzie, hi, baby. Hi. Say hello, YouTube. This is my debut. Hi. I started working with a rescue after I rescued a stray dog off the street. Her name was Daisy. Well, I named her that. I don't know what her name was. And she was starving and she was in the middle of the road and it made me really sad. I was like, you know what? I think it's a sign that this just happened. Look at her, hold on. Lizzie, she does not like you that much. Maybe leave her alone. Lizzie. <laughs> She's gonna growl at you. Leia has very little tolerance for BS. She's like, go away from me. It's okay, baby. I love you and you're fine. After that, I was like, it's really easy to just look away from dogs that need help or children that need to be in a foster home or any any child or innocent creature that needs help. I signed up for a rescue to volunteer and foster animals and they gave me Lizzie. Next day, I got her adopted. So technically she's adopted, but they haven't like completed, completed the paperwork. So I'm waiting for a call anytime right now to let the family come and pick her up. But it's been really, really neat and rewarding because I feel like people are so selfish and we're in such a self-absorbed world as I have a camera in front of my face but you know what it's like I get to share with you guys something that I'm doing to help a dog in need and I have the beautiful blessing of having thousands of people that can see it and maybe do the same exact thing and maybe I can touch one of you guys to also be a part of it so you might say that oh you're just being selfish for attention but it's like actually I'm sharing a message it's been really really beautiful and I've actually gotten to see Jesse get super excited about it Ugh. Sorry. Jesse's been okay with it. Sometimes he's like, what are you doing? And other times he really, really likes the dog. Ah! I just killed a spider on me. Y'all, we just bought a ranch, so I'm gonna have to get used to this stuff because, oh my gosh. The creatures in Texas are crazy. I also need to buy some cowboy boots. For such a long time, I never knew why people wore cowboy boots. Like I thought it was just for fashion, but now I realize it's to protect your calves and your ankles from poison ivy and all of the grass. When we went to walk the property, I had like these cute little shoes on and shorts and not good. I was like tiptoeing over poison ivy and poison oak trying not to get it on me back to the dogs lizzie is 10 months old and she's really skinny so i've been giving her lots and lots of food every morning and night my baby she's hot drink your water baby thank you <laughs> you are such a sweet girl anyway she's so happy if you or anyone you know wants to start fostering dogs in your area do some research on it it's really rewarding and beautiful and you get to help save them and help them find a happy home. And you might think that it's sad, but it actually is very rewarding because so many of us just look online and go, oh, I wish I could do something about that. And then you just swipe through and it's like, wait, we can do something about it. We just actually have to take the time out. And giving money to charities and organizations is amazing, but I think sometimes your time is also more valuable because they need more hands and people that actually want to put effort into it. I don't know what the last thing I filmed was. I'm trying not to do the super over the top clickbaity YouTube style videos. I just want to be myself, you guys, and I just feel like I've kind of been forcing YouTube because I just don't really like YouTube content that much. Like, I've never really watched a lot. I want you guys to see behind the scenes of my life. So I'm just gonna be who I am. If the views aren't there, I don't care. I just wanna be myself. Jesse left today. He's in North Carolina for the week and I've got the house to myself. And do you know what my sweet husband always does for me? He always cooks me meals because I forget to cook for myself. So typically when he's gone, I don't really eat that much. And he cooked me all these meals and prepped them for me so that I would be fed. Oh. It's the next day. Oh, my husband just texted me. I am doing a charcoal mask. He texted me again. I'm covered in paint. Look what I did to our back door. Ta-da! I painted our back door. That's all. All right, guys, this is the last footage we're gonna see of Lizzie. Lizzie, you're gonna get picked up soon. You're gonna get picked up soon. Lizzie, you having fun? She's chewing on the stick. Oh, there it is. Lizzie is gone. The family was so excited to see her. Now I am all alone. I've been cleaning the house. There's Leia. I miss my husband a lot. We're never apart from each other, so it always makes me really sad when he leaves for work. I think I'm gonna go over to my neighbor's house and drink a lot of wine because I'm not pregnant. A good friend of mine told me that as you're trying to get pregnant, a great thing to do is do the things that you can't do when you're pregnant every single time you find out you're not pregnant. You know what I mean? 
It's like a, you're so sad and heartbroken, especially I am, but it's something that you can do to kind of have some sort of positivity to get your mind off of it. It's just like, oh, well, I can eat sushi and I can drink alcohol. And I don't really like drinking alcohol, but I do love me a glass of wine after a, a long day. Next day, I'm going to get my hair done at seven o'clock in the morning. Also, I hit 2 million followers on TikTok this morning. It's a pretty cool feeling. I'm not really like, I don't care. Like it's numbers, it's whatever. But it is kind of crazy to think that 10 million people see my face or know who I am. Or the fact that two and a half years ago, I had zero followers on this platform and now, that's crazy. It's crazy talk, you guys. All right, let's go get my hair done. It's 100 degrees out right now, but I got Bo, mom's dog. She's saying goodbye. Aww. There's Leia's butt. Bo Bo, say hi to YouTube and take good care of him. Back home now, it's like super late. I have my mom's dog, Bo. What's up, Bo? My hair is better. The roots are done, so it's <coughs> excuse me. Bo, my roots, like, it wasn't like a huge difference. She just needed to make it go up a little more so that they looked like more blended, so they look perfect. Ugh, I had something to tell you guys and I forgot. I guess I have nothing to tell you guys. I have the worst memory. I guess just gonna enjoy the rest of the night by myself. I'm so boring, y'all. I'm also kind of socially awkward. I don't think it's a bad thing. I just, like, I don't need other people in my life to make me feel like I am fulfilled, you know? Like, I can just entertain myself and do whatever the heck, and I'm, like, very much entertained. I was hanging out with my uh, neighbor. She has a newborn baby, and I was, like, holding the baby earlier after I got home. So I do have friends. I just don't show them on here because most of my friends don't really want to be seen on camera because they want their own privacy and stuff, and I love that, so I respect their privacy, but then it makes it look like I have no friends. I do, I promise. I don't know how I got on this subject, but I'm gonna go watch Netflix. Good morning. Can we petition to make Crocs like really, really cool and like stylish? Because this is so comfortable. Why have I ever worn other shoes? And I can get them dirty. And someone said I could put them in the dishwasher, which I already put my shoes in like the washer. I just don't dry them. But Crocs, rock out with your Crocs out. Right, Bo? All my content is just gonna be me with dogs, and in the future it's gonna be me with goats and chickens and donkeys. And dogs. I am a dog whisperer! An animal whisperer! He's finally back, you guys. And right now we are driving to Waco to see Magnolia, where Joanna Gaines and Chip Gaines, like that whole entire operation is located. And we're going to see our ranch that we're in the process of purchasing. So, let's go! This is us. Alright, I put my cowboy boots on. You see? It's 40 acres and this is what we are in the process of buying. I am so excited. All right, let's go in. Say hi, babe. Just imagine goats and donkeys and chickens running around and future babies, future Callahan babies. All the wild flowers. Our plan is to build a main house like up in this area on top of the hill so that you can see out and then we're actually not even halfway back through the property and we've never seen the back fence so there's a long way to go it's very very long um, there are deer and feral hogs we're also gonna start building two cabins for airbnb on here this year actually so we can start doing something with it and then in the future we'll move here a few full time we love it little cowboy <laughs> This is Magnolia. We are in Waco right now, and this is kind of what Chip and Joanna Gaines have made so popular, but it is really, really neat. We are finally back home. We have been gone for 12 hours, actually. We were driving all over the state of Texas, but I'm so happy y'all could see our property and what we're going to be doing with it. We have so many amazing plans, and this is only the start. Oh. This is only the start. I'm 25, he's 28. We have our whole lives ahead of us and hopefully kids will come soon. I'm trying to get my ovaries working. Thank you guys for all the love and support. I love y'all and I will see you on the next video. So, he just came up and licked me. Dude. He just like came up and stole a lick and walked away. Okay, anyways, bye, love you, bye. <laughs>